shift the loop between them long ago. You white one, look like you got soused last night too. Stinks of the Guardian cops to me. Need to talk to you. About? Uma, gonna take him with me. Gotta ask the Baron's permission. Thing is, he ain't here. Not about to ask for anything. I'm telling you, you can try to stop me. But that'd be an error, a mortal one. Think you got me shaking in my boots? You sure as hell should be. Fine. Cripple's not worth no blood. See the groom. He ought to be glad to give him up. Bugger's been eating from the feed bags. And a pleasant journey to you both. Thank you kindly. I'm taking Uma. There ain't a... Sergeant Hartle said I could. Bring him back though, won't you? Be awful dull without him. No. Not about to bring him back. Open the door. Now. Here's Roach. She'll take us to Care Morin. Well, come on. What the? Quit playing around. Let's go. Looks like we got company. Elf Guardian battle mounts. What do you want? The Emperor's displeased with you. Then he ought to ask somebody else for help. The Emperor does not ask anyone for anything. You will ride with us to Vitsima. Sure about that? Don't even try. Fine. Lead the way.
and the third army will sweep in from the west to take Bangli. If I may, your Imperial Majesty, our spies report that the garrison at Banglin consists almost wholly of mercenaries. Bribery, then. We stand to lose exactly no men in battle. And we stand to lose less time. Very well. Give the orders. Then set sail. As you wish. At once! Your Imperial Majesty, Yennefer. I did not have you brought here for an exchange of courtesies. Report. As you wish, Your Majesty. Siri. Well, this man is the key to finding her. I give you three solid leads. Trails as fresh as morning dew, the aid of my spies and my court sorcerers. Yet in my daughter's stead, you bring me this monstrosity? I hope you have more to say, for your sake. Listen, I'm looking for a needle in a haystack, a needle that at any moment can... It's a difficult task, I know this. What of it? Listen to me. I rule the largest empire the world has ever known. I wage a war against the North, command men in tens of thousands, while at home the trade corporations and nobles seek to depose me. You cannot expect me to pity you the difficulty of your task. This monstrosity might well be your daughter. Its body is the product of a curse someone hides inside it. Can you lift this curse? I've done a great deal of research, made inquiries, but to lift it I would need to know the words used to cast it, and that... Dandelion told me. Siri talked to him about it. At last, you provide a pleasant surprise. Lady Yennefer, my question stands. Yes. I believe I can, but I must... The details do not interest me. Geralt, you've achieved precious little, yet admittedly more than the bumblers in my spy corps have. I give you half the promised reward. You will receive the other when you bring me Siri. Wouldn't count on that happening. That was no request, it was an order, Geralt. And I advise you well, do not disobey me. This audience is over. Till the next. So, how do we lift Uma's curse? We must take him to Kaer Morhen. Oh, and Geralt, forgive me, but I'm unable to teleport you, Uma, and Roach, so... Don't worry, we'll ride there. Never did like teleporting. Take care of yourself. Wait. Here, probably better if you keep it. Of course. I'm off. His long search for Ciri led Geralt to conclude that Uma, the ugliest man alive and the victim of a curse, was the key to finding the young woman. Geralt needed to lift the curse. So he took Uma to the home of the world's greatest specialist on dark spells. To the Witcher's Fortress of Kaer Morhen. Oh. 
this close to the fortress? Someone's been slacking off. Quite a while. Too long. <laughs> and your journey, how was it? Calm, if you don't count the forked tail that flew over our heads a few miles back. Passenger got a little restless. <laughs> mm. What have we here? Multiple deformities, eyes, ears, nostrils, a hair, a lip, and is this... Now, now, calm down. Yennefer was right on one count. Things sure isn't pretty. Yen's here already. And how? <laughs> you two argue? Geralt, I understand she's a... Well, how do I put this? Emancipated, strong-willed woman. But do manners count for nothing? She teleports in, not even a nice to see. Jumps right into a, we've a curse to lift. There's this to do and that. So Eskel and Lambert get going. And she went to the guest room to rearrange things. Through the bed, off the balcony. So where is everyone? Eskel's hunting fork tails. Gotta nip that infestation in the bud. And since Yennefer needs to distill some ingredients from their organs, well, like they say, two birds, one stone. Lambert's still in the keep, preparing to venture into the mountains to enrich the phylactery with elemental power. Mm -hmm. And Yen? Assembling a megascope. Wanted my help, running around with some chirping contraption, searching for something. But I'm too old for that nonsense. I should let her know I'm here. If you say so, but don't go thinking she'll throw her arms around your neck. horse. What's its name? Scorpion? Beautiful animal. 
footprints and hoofprints. A goat. Interesting. Rocks. Tracks end here. Great. Could try to follow my nose. Can't smell Eskel, but there is the goat. Just gotta find a sample of its scent. Eskel made camp here. Looks like he planned to stay outside a while. Bits of bark. Looks like Eskel's goat rubbed against this tree. A clump of goat hair. Ugh, the stench. <laughs> Eskel's tracks. The nose knows. itself to this stake. Supposed to be forktail bait. <laughs> Guess it works for witchers as well. As for forktails, bait them thusly. Pound a stake in the soil, bind a goat to it, then hide ye in near to shrubbery post haste. Brother Adelbert's Bestiary, page 82. See your memories back in full, and sharp as ever in spite of your years. You're as old as I am, wise guy. Don't let the gray hair fool you. Good to finally see you again. Jen's keeping you pretty busy, huh? Hmm. Started shouting out orders with just one foot out of the teleport. I tried to get a word in edgewise to which she said... One should not interrupt a lady. Exactly. Times like these, I'm glad this ugly mug of mine keeps the women away. Come on, you're a handsome guy in your own way. Carol, please, cut the crap. <laughs> Shh, hear that? Incoming. Foul, overgrown reptiles. Hate it when they do that. Might have saved us some trouble. Not scared to leave the horse down below? Forktail could decide to have at him. <laughs> Scorpion's a warhorse. A purebred Kedwenny. He'll be fine. Have I told you how I got him? No, don't think so. It's bleeding heavily. From an artery. Blood's light-colored. Can't fly much further. The old hen she cackled. She cackled on the fence. The old hen she cackled. And she ain't cackled since. What's that song? Some old hill folk tune. Perfect for hiking. My mom sang it to me. You remember her? Just that silly song. Nothing else. Landed here. Not very gracefully. Look at the tracks. It broke its wing, I think. to its
Dad's lair looks like. Good. Means it's done fleeing. Gonna make a stand. Collect the spinal fluid and get out of here. Cut into its back, just below the skull. Gonna tell me which side of the knife to cut with next? The sharp one. Come on, hurry up. Say to a little race, maybe see who's faster, Roach or Scorpion, and who's the better rider. Not really a challenge, because I could beat you riding a lame sow, but why not? You're a lame sow yourself. First to care, Morhan wins! 